I can barely see myself, which is so weird. I feel like I'm gonna go blind. I'm trying out a new diffuser and it's like a more yellowish diffuser. I don't know if this is gonna be better or like, I don't know if you guys like this one better than the white diffuser that I was using. So let me know. And by diffuser, I mean lighting. Do you guys like this yellowish light better than the white one or do you guys think they look the same? Let me know. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, 1239 here and I'm here to give you guys a mini story time, hopefully. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but it's basically my first time meeting Corinne from Anne and my second time meeting Miranda. So a lot of people have been asking me what happened and how I met them because some people think I just randomly ran into them, which is not true at all. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Tuesday, I think it was, the day I found out about this event that they were gonna be at. The official Anne page posted a story promoting this event that Corinne and Miranda were going to be at. It was called the Heart of the City Speaker Series. Basically a panel and discussion surrounding the film industry, specifically Canadian film industry with executive producers, actresses, screenwriters, the whole deal. I got to go to that just because first I wanted to meet them uh, and second I was really interested in that kind of thing because I do want to go into screenwriting. I'm thinking of doing that and like I'm going to university for English and I want to minor in film studies. So that's the reason why I wanted to go. Uh, there are two reasons I guess and why not get to meet them as well. So I saw that on the official AMP page and I decided I would take my dad with me just because anytime I, I go with my dad he always encourages me to do things. My sister was gonna go with me actually but she was really tired she couldn't go which I understand but I took my dad. It started at like 7 <laughs> but we got there right on time so we walk in and it's a church and they have to like go past the mass section of the church and then you have to go through these doors and then there's a room where they were gonna hold the panel. We walk into the room and we have to pay for tickets right? Then as I'm paying <laughs> I see Corinne and she's like talking to these two women and I think the two women were also part of the panel but I didn't know at the time. So I saw Corinne and I was like oh my god it's her. She plays Rachel if you guys didn't know. You guys probably knew that but she's gonna say that anyway. So she plays Rachel on Anne and I was like oh my god it's her. This is so exciting right? I pay for the tickets and then I told my dad she's one of the actresses from Anne. She didn't get to go to the premiere because she was out of town so she didn't go. I didn't get to meet her but so now that she was there I could like go up to her and stuff. I was like obviously as I always am. If you guys have seen my story times of meeting the cast before I'm so shy and like I don't like to just approach people <laughs> but my dad was like just do it you know and so I was like okay and I just go up to her. I ask her for a picture and I think I said hi my name is Michelle and you know try to introduce myself and she was like sure and then we take a picture and one of the women that she was talking to which I think were part of the panel she offered to take the picture <laughs> so she took a picture of us and then I asked her to sign my book I brought my book with me and <laughs> I'm gonna pull that out right now because I always forget for some reason to take out my book so I came prepared obviously I was like if I meet them definitely getting them to sign my book Corinne's is right here it's the one in blue so this is what she wrote right here. I'm gonna read it out loud. So she said, Dearest Michelle, may all your dreams come true. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! And so I told her about how, like, the cast, because obviously she was gonna see, like, this massive page of, you know, signatures and stuff. So I told her, like, I went to the premiere and I got some of the cast to sign it. Anytime I get one of the cast members to sign my book, they always look at the cover because isn't this beautiful? So she also saw, because I got Megan, this is Megan Follows' the signature. So she saw that I got Megan to sign it as well and she she told me how she's a longtime friend of Megan, which I didn't know, but that's so cool. Because if you guys didn't know, Megan Follows played Anne in the 80s version. I also told her that I'm like obviously a really big fan of the show and she said it's great that I'm a fan. And then I started telling her about my YouTube channel, which I've never really done before except for like once. When I met Miranda the first time, I told her about my channel. But then this time I was just like, I'm going for it. <laughs> And so I just told her like I make videos about Anne. So then she asked me for my channel username and I told her and then she said that she would check me out So if she ever you know sees this then hi <laughs> And then I also told her that I really love her character Rachel because Rachel is you know a sass queen And she said that Rachel was very misunderstood which I completely agree And then she had to go because the panel was about to start so she said bye and that she would see me later I was shaking. I was shaking so much when I was meeting her and like taking the picture and stuff and then afterward I posted the picture on my story and I remember still shaking and I like told my dad like oh my god that just happened <laughs> and then a few minutes later I saw Miranda walk in Miranda the executive producer by the way not Miranda who plays Josie and Anne with the knee so I saw her walk in and then she just had to like obviously quickly go into the room where
where they were gonna walk out of and enter the panel room. So then my dad and I uh, walked into the panel room. We sat on the left side, first row. And so when they introduced everyone in the panel and everyone like walked out, there were four women, Corey and Miranda, and then the two other women from the panel. They're a part of Little Dog and Mary Kills People. I think they're sisters actually. This seems really interesting. <laughs> when Miranda walked in, she sat down and she saw me. The entire time I was just like, I don't know if she's gonna recognize me because yes, we did talk in the premiere and she recognized me from YouTube, but I wasn't sure if she was gonna recognize me again. But she saw me and she just like looked at me and I looked back and I didn't like say or do anything just because I don't think I had an expression on my face. We just stared at each other and that was it because I wasn't sure if she recognized me. So if I would have like been like, you know, it would have been kind of weird if she didn't, but I ended up finding out that she did recognize me later on, but we'll talk about that <laughs> soon. So the panel started. I think most of the questions were like directed to Corinne and Miranda. They said a lot of interesting things about, you know, the Canadian film industry and as well about Anne. So if this goes up in time, then you guys have already seen the videos that I posted, the clips from the panel. So there's all of that, but I do want to mention a very important thing that they talked about in the panel, which is about representation and diversity in Anne and so hopefully you guys see the videos that I posted but basically there was a person in the audience who like stood up and you know got to talk and he was an extra in Anne and he talked about how it really meant a lot to him to see and to be a part of the representation in the show. It was really impactful and really significant to him that he said <laughs> that he would have been an extra for free as long as they you know had that in the show. That was like so Oh my god, that was incredible to hear from someone who was a part of the show and that just means so much to them. And Miranda, at one point, she was about to tear up. That was one of the big things that I took out of the panel was about how much representation matters. They said that they're gonna add more in season three, which I'm really, really excited about and I can't wait because, I don't know, even the show overall is just, it's a representation of, I don't know, Canadian history in a way? I don't know, Canadian stories? I know it's not a real story, but it deals with real to some extent. Anne of Green Gables is a part of Canadian culture and it's something that a lot of people in Canada are proud of. They love a lot so I'm glad that the show is here and it exists. Another thing actually before I before I talk about the rest of the meets and stuff. Another thing that I really enjoyed hearing during the panel was when Miranda talked about how she got the idea to make Anne with an E. You know her thought process of where like that came from. I really enjoyed hearing that. I don't know I, I haven't heard the story before of why they decided to make another Anne adaptation, but I really appreciated that. So after the panel ended, my dad was just like, just go up to her right now because or else she's gonna be talking to a lot of people. And I obviously wasn't gonna get the chance to talk to her like one-on-one, -on -one, which was true because after I talked to her, a lot of people were surrounding Miranda. <laughs> I immediately went up to her and I was like, hey, and she was like, it's nice to see you again. In my mind, I was just like, damn, she remembers me. <laughs> and then I asked her for a picture and we took a picture. Then I asked her to sign my book because during the premiere, I forgot to ask her to sign my book. So she got to sign my book and I'm going to show that right now. And the pen wasn't working at first and I was like, Ugh, you know, because my pens always suck. I use them a lot, but like they always suck. But thankfully it started working because I was about to panic. This is her signing the book and it says, love your love of Anne with an E. And she signed it Miranda, obviously. <laughs> and so yeah, that was amazing. She also noticed Megan's signature and she like laughed. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I met her this year. Then I told her that I heard that, you know, Anne is starting to film in Toronto again in March for season three. And I was just like, I'm really excited for that. And she was like, thank you. And then we just said bye. So then after the panel, basically, they set up a buffet for people to take and eat. They cleared out the room. So they cleared out all the chairs and stuff so that we could all just like talk, you know, stand up and go and talk to people. So that was really nice. There weren't that many people there. I would say like maybe 20 to 30 people, but still it was... <laughs> It was a lot of pressure for me and because my dad was like telling me to talk. What ended up happening was we, you know, took some sandwiches, we ate them. And then I was just like standing around waiting to talk to one of them. And it took me like maybe 20 minutes, I feel. Before that, I was just like, I wanted to give up. And I was like, I'm never gonna be able to talk to them. But then finally, I just like bucked up the courage. Is that how you say it? And just went and I talked to one of the women that were part of the panel. I asked her like questions relating to her career and why she decided to go into screenwriting and stuff. And she was giving me, you know, advice on what to take in university 
university. So I felt that was very, you know, helpful and insightful. I've never ever talked to someone about that kind of stuff before, especially someone from the industry. That's incredible. And then I had a bit more courage and I decided to go up to the other woman that was part of the panel and we talked. <laughs> well, she mainly talked because I, I asked her like the same question, which was what inspired you to choose your career? And she said that it was mostly due to money and like the necessity to provide for her family. And she decided to do screenwriting because either she says, yes and takes it and does it or you know she doesn't have any other option but since she said yes to the opportunities that were given to her then she was able to do that something i did learn from her was if you got the opportunity just say yes that was very eye-opening i also told both of them actually about my youtube channel because i said i'm a university student and i also do youtube they both asked me like what my channel name was so i don't know if they're gonna watch this but if they do hi and then finally this is like probably one of my favorite parts of the night that happened and that was I was about to get ready to leave because we had already finished talking to basically everyone I wanted to talk to. <laughs> I decided like, oh, I'm just gonna take some sandwiches home because it's an open buffet and I just go and, you know, take the sandwiches and just eat out. I'm wrapping up the sandwiches <laughs> into napkins and stuff and I take two of them and the sandwiches were amazing. Like, they were pretty good. I'm like wrapping them up. I'm at the buffet table and just doing that and then I turn and like see Corinne. She's looking at me <laughs> and my dad is next to her and she tells my dad, <laughs> she's like, I want to say goodbye to her. And she's like looking at me, right? So she's talking about me. <laughs> oh my God. And then I was like, oh my God. And I'm just here with my sandwiches. <laughs> I'm just here with my sandwiches trying to like take them home and stuff. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain the feeling I had. I was so happy about that. She was so sweet and like all my oohs to her. We like go up to each other and we hug. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god. And I think she said like, thank you for coming and stuff. And I was like, ah. It was so, so lovely. And just like, ah, you know, like I didn't even have to say anything to her. She just wanted to say goodbye to me. So that was amazing. After that, my dad also told her about how he watched, he said he watched the old version, but what he meant was he's watched Road to Avonlea, which is a separate series, but kind of related to Anne because it takes place in Avonlea. And that show came out in the 90s. So he did used to watch that, but he never watched Anne but he just said like, <laughs> that he watched the old version and that I introduced him to Anne. He still hasn't watched the show yet. He's only watched the part where we were at the screening and then we had to eat to meet AJ. <laughs> so he hasn't watched the whole show yet. And then I also told Corinne how my dad also went to the premiere with me and she said that she really wished that she would have came but she couldn't. But that next time, next year, next season, she will be at the premiere, which is so exciting. I can't wait to see her again. And then finally we said bye to each other and we left. That was... Ah, I can't, I can't with myself. I was in fangirl mode, but also I had to stay professional so that <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm only there to see them. But I also, you know, I was also there to get more knowledge about the industry. So that was my experience meeting Miranda and Corinne. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't know. I really, I talked a lot. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to talk this much, but I really, I really went for it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Who would you like to meet from the cast if you ever get the opportunity to? Let me know. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for always watching. Mwah. Subscribe if you guys want to. We're so close to 7k. I cannot believe this. That's amazing. Like literally so incredible. Thank you guys so much. It really means means a lot to me that you guys support what I do. Knock on wood for Selma. <laughs> Follow me on all my social media accounts. They should be appearing on the screen right now. And I'll see you guys soon. I don't know what video is coming out, but you guys are going to be shook with one of the newer videos that I'm going to be posting soon. We'll see. All right. Bye, guys. Mwah. First thing we climb a tree. And maybe then we talk. Or sit silently. Listen to our thoughts, illusions of some.